Hello, everybody. Let's discuss function number two of diminished sum chord. So a diminished sum chord can also be used as a passing chord. Okay, so just like we have passing notes, we have passing chord. Um, usually, you would see the uh, diminished sum chord being half a step above the root of the next chord. And also number two, the diminished chord does not contain the leading tone of the next chord. So number two here is very really important. And uh, if uh, this condition fulfills, then probably uh, you, you, you are looking at a uh, passing diminished seventh chord. Okay, so let's take a look at two examples. Okay, so first example, C major seven, and then you have C sharp diminished seven going into a D minor seven and then G seven. So this is a, the example that we have learned in the uh, previous video. So five one situation, not exactly five one, but uh, usually you would see an A seven here, right? Secondary dominant of D minor seven. And uh, this time we have a C sharp diminished seven instead. So actually this is a substitution for A7. But when you're familiar with it enough, you can just go half a step down from D minor and play a C sharp diminished seven here. So C sharp, the root of the chord is exactly the leading tone of D. So this is the uh, substitution for secondary dominant. So not a passing chord, not passing for this first chord progression. So not a passing chord here, all right? And it will be analyzed as a seven, diminished seven of two, since the C sharp diminished seven is a diminished seven chord of, is the seven diminished seven chord of D minor seven. And D minor seven is a two chord of this greater, longer, larger chord progression here, okay? So that's what we have learned, okay? Our focus today is here. So let's say we have a something very similar. So C, sh a C major seven, and a E and E flat diminished seven going into a D minor seven. Okay. So this can be D sharp diminished seven. So these are the same, just to uh, they're of the same pitch, but different names. Okay. So it can be D sharp or E flat diminished seven. So it's different from the uh, from the last one, and uh, the root is half step above the uh, root here, okay, of D minus seven. So probably it is functioning as a passing chord, but we have to check. Let's see if it has the leading tone of D. So E flat, G flat, flat three, flat five, that would be a B double flat. And then a double flat seven would be a D double flat, all right? So B double flat is really just an A, right? D double flat is a uh, C. So does it contain the leading tone of D minor? So what's the leading tone of D minor? Or D, or just D, and uh, that's C sharp. So do you ask yourself, do you have C sharp here? So no, 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 it's a C, no. So you don't have the leading tone. So you don't have the leading tone. So here we can confirm that it's actually a passing chord. Okay, is it passing diminished seven chord? Okay. See? And uh, this guy here can be analyzed as a sharp two. Diminished seventh chord. Okay. As a sharp two diminished seven chord. Technically, of course, you can analyze it as a flat three diminished seven chord, but uh, like the textbook way, usually they would uh, analyze it as a sharp to diminished seven chord to indicate that it is actually a passing chord. Personally, I think the flat three diminished seven is more appropriate since you ha you have a uh, downward movement here, right? E flat going to D. So if you have a downward movement, I think the flat version, flat three diminished seven version analysis would be better. Oh, I forgot. So sharp two diminished seven of no, sorry, I didn't forget anything. This one is correct, okay? So it will be analyzed as a sharp two diminished seven because it's the sharp two um, with respect to C being the root of the uh, scale, okay? So C and then you have sharp two, which is D sharp or E flat, okay? Going into a two minor seven. So in this case, you see, I don't have slash of something because it this chord here is just a passing chord, okay? 
Cool. So here's here are the here's the major difference between these two types. Okay, substitution for five, and here we have a passing chord. Okay, cool. So hopefully everything makes sense. Okay, we'll probably work out some exercises in the next video. See you there.